Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and do a message and get a message from your ancestors and angels, okay? Now this is a general message. It may not resonate with everyone. So take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those and thanks to those who donate to the channel. It's very much appreciated. So let's see, what do we have today from our Virgos? What is the message from their ancestors and their angels? Thank you, Spirit. What is it that they would like them to know for Virgo? I do hope that everybody is well, Virgo. All right, give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. Show me. Thank you. Bottom of the deck, we do have trust. It says, I know that God, I, I know that God in his infinite wisdom and love is answering my prayers right now. Now, the first card I'm seeing here, it says optimism. I expect good things to happen and they do. So straight away, you know, this energy of your mindset. Think positive, positive things will happen. Continuously think negative and you will find that those things manifest. Going forward, it says giving and receiving. It says I being generous and receptive because both are equally important. So it's not just about taking and it's not just about giving. It's about finding that balance. And it's also the same, you know, make sure you don't have people around you where they are constantly taken from you. But you are never receiving anything back. And we're not just talking about material things. We're not just talking about finances. We're talking about time. We're talking about energy. We're talking about love. There's a message here for Virgos. Thank you, Spirit. Optimism. I expect good things to happen and they do. What is the message here for Virgos? What are we getting stuck on? The nine of the nine of um, water. Okay, so that's the nine of cups, and we have the queen of air right behind it. So again, this is you know the nine of water. It says your wish comes true. It says concerns fade away. It also says a love of a life. Now, it's giving me the energy here um, with the Queen of Swords that, you know, number one, you know, Virgos, make sure you are speaking it into existence. What it is that you desire. What is your hopes and your dreams? Three cards. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you all chariot at the bottom of the deck yeah the ace of air so this is the ace of swords we just saw the queen of swords now this says brilliant new ideas and inspirations seeing the truth of a situation a challenging beginning so if even if things aren't moving as smoothly as you would like that is not a reason to give up you know the ace of air it talks about clarity um, it talks about truth. It talks about having a victory. So if you have some good ideas here, and there's like, you know, I always say this to you guys, you know, if there's a business you want to start, a project that you want to kind of get going, right? you got something in your head, you know, take those steps to um, get those ideas moving now, you know, bringing things into fruition, you have the seven of water. It says a complex decision. 
the need to do research, stop procrastinating. So even if you have, like it said, you know, you have to do your research, um, maybe you need to jot your ideas down, maybe you need to put pen to paper, whatever it is that you need to do here, Virgos, this is definitely a time for you to take action. You've got the page of air. It says challenging information. It says delays or changes to plans. It says truth delivered without tact. Now, for some of you, maybe there is something that has happened around you where maybe something has come to light or there's been some news that has come out that changes the situation here. Spirit says, you know, whatever it is that is kind of going on around you, don't lose that kind of momentum um, in terms of staying focused, in, t in terms of kind of staying high, um, high vibrational here, right? And I know that may be easier said than done, and depending on what people have gone through. But, um, you know, people have to realize there's a lot of things in life that may come at you, that be thrown at you, that, you know, come out of the woodworks, that surprise you, that tries to get you off your path. And, you know, a lot of it is like testing your commitment. Let's see if you're going to fall off. Let's see if you're going to let this situation delay or stop you, you know. It is, I don't know how to explain this, Virgos, but it's kind of like, you know, life isn't easy. But it definitely is a, a learning process. We're always learning something. I just feel like the overall energy here is not to give up. So let's let's see going forward. What do we have for Virgos? Thank you, Spirit. What is this? The Six of Fire. Don't give up. There's success here. This is public recognition. It says victory. It says good news is on the way. Public recognition or rewards. So, you know, some of you, it may be that test of, you know, even though you can't see it, it's like you just being rewarded um for not giving up for being in that nine of um one's energy that wounded warrior yes we've been through a lot yes sometimes we feel down yes sometimes we feel weak yes sometimes we feel like giving up but the important thing is not to there's nothing wrong with going through those emotions there's nothing wrong with um you know being upset taking time out healing yourself but never give up Six of fire. It's almost that energy of you will be rewarded for your efforts. What are we getting stuck on? What's behind that? Oh. Yeah, we have the Ten of Air, which is the Ten of Swords, but it says the end of a difficult situation. It says embrace the change. And expect things to get better now. For some of you, it says recovering from an addiction. And addictions could be anything. Someone can be addicted to another person. Yes, someone could be addicted to alcohol, drugs, money, intimacy. Well, I don't even want to use the word intimacy. Sex. It's just going to be different for everybody. Some people are addicted to staying in the house. You know, it's just different. Six of fire, show me more. The star. So even if you are suffering from any of those things, this is spirit saying to you, you have that power in you. To take control of those things, to bring balance back into your life, giving and receiving. It would even kind of be like the energy of the Six of Pentacles. Finding the balance. It says, happy times. Make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. You're on the right path. So let's say even some of you had a tower, in, a tower moment in your life recently. Spirit says that happened for a reason. If a relationship or a marriage has broken up, Spirit is saying that happened for a reason. If for some reason someone had to get up and has to be relocated or they have to move or a car's broken down or whatever. Know it happened 
for a reason. What is this sticking up the magician? You have all the tools that you need. It says you are ready. You have the resources. There goes that light again. I don't know why it always does that, but whatever. It says you are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. It reminds me of that energy of, do you know what? Life is what you make it. Anything else that my Virgos need to know? What is this? Make choices. Be confident. I don't know if for some of you this is something to do with a decision in love. With the lovers out here. It says intimate relationships. Carefully weigh your decisions. It says good health. So whatever this is that you are needing to make a choice about. Okay. Spirit is saying... I almost want to say, listen to your heart. What situation makes you feel better? What situation makes you feel uplifted? Now, again, some of, I, I don't really want to go into signs when I do these readings here. But like I said, maybe there was someone here who juggled you in a situation and it's put you in a, you know, a certain um, mental space. Life experience. It says a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. So even if that was the case, instead of you, yeah, look at the emperor right behind it with the ten of wands. Yeah, with the ace of wands. You know, someone here may be finding it difficult to, I almost want to say start again. Trust even. Because of some sort of deception. Or some sort of disappointment. Now, this could be from your past here with this Six of Cups. You know, for some of you, this could even be stemming back to your childhood. It's almost that energy, you know, it's time to release, forgive and move forward. Give me some advice from our Virgos. Give me three cards. Thank you, Spirit. What is the message from their ancestors and their angels? Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. So the first one I saw was look for a sign. So pay attention to the signs and synchronicities around you here. You have communicate clearly. And that light, I don't know what that is. Um, it says communicate clearly. So again, whether you are communicating with your ancestors and angels, you know, communicate clearly to them what it is that you would like, what it is that you desire. I'm hearing somebody say, I want to be healed. So I don't know if someone here is sick, um, you know. Or again, this could just be somebody, you know, saying, hey, help me heal my heart here. Coming out, look at that, no need to worry. Three cards for my Virgos. What is the message from their ancestors and their angels? Thank you. Okay, Virgos. So the first one coming out here, it says walk away from illusions and towards truth. So again, that energy, or if there was a tower moment, know that it happened for a reason. It's this energy of, you know, your ancestors and your angels, they are never going to steer you wrong. You know, if a, if a situation is solid and it's happy and, you know, they're not going to bring in a tower moment. They're not going to tear that apart. Something here wasn't built on a solid foundation. And, you know, a spirit tearing that tower down is giving you the chance to move forward and build something solid for yourself, to have success. It says, show me the right path, O oh Lord. Point, point out the road for me to follow. Spirit saying we are. Look for the signs. 
you have expressed yourself through creativity. Praise his name with dance accompanied by trampoline and harp. So I don't know, some of you may, I always use music, you know, um, some of you may play an instrument, maybe you dance, maybe you sing, you know, get back into that energy here. It's like raise your vibrations. It's like, you know, that energy of learning how to transmute energy. When life throws you lemons, make lemonade. You know, um, you feeling really angry, frustrated or upset about a situation, put it into your creative work here. So it says, shine your inner light brightly. The city has no need of the city have no the city has no need of sun or moon, for the glory of God illuminates the city and the Lamb is its light. So some of you you have a purpose here. You know, maybe what you've been through, you're gonna be able to go forward and help someone else through a similar situation. But know that you went through this, and I keep saying it feels repetitive. I don't know. So let's get Archangel Michael and let me close out this reading. You know, maybe someone here needs to start repeating the same cycles. Maybe this is an energy of breaking generational curses. Maybe this is about you going forward and setting some sort of um, example. Maybe some of you are born to be leaders, teachers, healers. But it's almost this energy before you can go forward and help somebody with their pain. Maybe you need to work through your own. What do we have? For Virgo. Thank you. All right, Archangel Michael. Well, I'm on the deck. You do have the number five and it does talk about change. So I will read it. It says, be honest with yourself. It says, all your feelings, even the difficult ones, have a message for you. Accept your truth and let source take it from there. So the first one I'm seeing here, it says, no, it's not yet time. So, it says this is not the divine right time to take action. Please be patient. The opportune moment is approaching. You have, your vibration is rising. What did I say about music and stuff like that, right? Uh, it says this is a time of great spiritual growth for you. You are evolving to occupy a higher energetic frequency. And then your last one says, yes, you are correct. It says you have listened to your inner guidance and made a wise choice. Keep moving forward. So some of you, it looks like, you know what? I'm not worried. Some of you, you're going to make the right choices here. And it's going to lead you in the right direction. And look how happy this woman looks. Free, unencumbered. Feeling good. Some of you, you're stepping out of the darkness. Or you may be moving away from, like it says, some sort of illusion. A situation that isn't serving you. A person that isn't serving you. A substance, whatever, that isn't serving you. Virgos, that is what I've picked up here today. I really love the outcome. If anything has resonated with you, I do want to say hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But Virgos, if this is where we part, guys, stay safe. Love and light, Virgo.